Hello everyone and welcome back to our Softacom IT series. Yes, today we have new episode and today we will compare architectures for three cross-platform frameworks Flutter, FireMonkey and Xamarin. Very short, we know that you are uh, very busy. Let's go! In the end of the episode I'll share with you Delphi code camp promo code. If you want to attend this event you can register with our promo code and save 15% from the price. In the beginning I'd like to mention why uh, did we select this uh, subject. Uh, actually we have a lot of requests from our clients just uh, give us examples uh, which uh, framework and development tool we have to select for developing our mobile application or some cross-platform application. And uh, you know each platform has its own uh, pros and cons and uh, Let's just uh, compare architectures for the three uh, frameworks, just like a satellite view, without too deep details, but for your understanding how it works and what's the best for you. Before we start with details for each uh, of the frameworks, let's discuss what does it mean cross-platform. And uh, if we compare some frameworks, we have to uh, think about, yes, what does it mean cross-platform for you? and uh, what does it mean native application for the platform and operating system? Uh, for me, cross-platform, it means that we have uh, some one uh, development environment with one uh, programming language which we are using for developing application for all platforms and it will be application with a single code base. It means we have the same code base for all platforms uh, we we just write the source code uh, some file form activity uh, and it will work with just compilation for some of the platforms uh, for each platform for each operating system uh, maybe sometimes with some additions yes we can have one source code file for example but we can have some um, specific uh, places for uh, some platforms sometimes we maybe don't have this specific uh, platform uh, code injections and changes and the second thing is about native or not native for me native it's like when we are uh, writing our uh, application and after that we compile it in binary which uh, and this binary is native for the operating system it means it does not need any, any virtualization uh, layers, like any abstraction layers. It means like we have application, we have execution environments, uh, maybe like uh, Java or Mono, and uh, this execution environment is, is responsible for executing on operating system. For native application, we just have our binary, which is native for this operating system and it can execute it, it directly. It means native. It's also very important if we have sometimes some uh, additional uh, execution or abstraction levels, uh, uh, it will cost for us, uh, of course, some performance. Uh, but in, our, in another case, uh, we will have more unified platform and this uh, abstraction level will think about platform uh, differences uh, and uh, uh, we like uh, developers will be uh, let's say uh, we won't think about uh, some of the things because we are working on more high level again it has its own pros and cons and now let's discuss the differences between Flutter, FireMonkey and Xamarin. And let's start from Flutter. Uh, this framework in all the time, no, not all the time, but uh, I feel that it increases its popularity and this is why we added it to our <coughs> comparison. Uh, Flutter's developers uh, and in the documentation you can find that the Flutter, is, uh, uh, Flutter apps uh, are native applications, but uh, uh, I can say that this is pretty some addition. Uh, let's, uh, let's check how it works. Uh, Flutter as a Pi, Flutter's application as a Pi, have, have uh, multiple levels. On the bottom, you have we have such uh, things like as called uh, embedder. It means that your application will have some layer. It's called embedder. Embedder is 
platform dependable for iOS and for Android. You will have different embedders, and this embedder is application low layer application for the platform which knows how to work with the operating system. In this case, your application will have embedder. Uh, 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 on top of this embedder, you will have a Flutter engine, which is written in C++. Higher, you have a Flutter framework with the widgets, components, uh, frameworks, APIs. Uh, this engine knows how to work with uh, framework, and your application, for example, as a widget, also like a part of the framework. And engine works with your application and framework. Uh, interact with the uh, platform using embedder and entry point when you're starting your application also uh, uh, your operating system also calls embedder entry point here is your source code you see that <coughs> sorry can we say that this is a native application uh, we can we should have embedder for each platform and this embedder is a like abstraction layer which hides from your uh, platform uh, specific uh, implementation and engine uh, for the, the for example for android and for your ios generates from your code yes why they call they calling it like native because engine gets your code uh, gets your ui and transform it to platform like for iOS and for Android for native uh, for example UI it's for Android it will generate activities uh, for uh, uh, iOS it will generate uh, uh, web views uh, and for the platform UI will look like really native but the implementation let's say that the execution is not native uh, and yes, it, of course, it has its own pros and cons. Uh, this is how it works. Now let's check how FireMarkey works. It's a, let's say it's totally different animal and it has totally different architecture. You have your source code when you are, uh, and your application which you are developing in Red Studio, Delphi. And uh, you have to add uh, target platforms inside the IDE and after that after that you have a possibility to compile your uh, single uh, code base application for different platforms to native executable uh, to native package it means that it has a compiler for Android compiler for iOS macOS Windows uh, 32 and 64 bits and in, in the end you have really native binaries it means that it's a platform native binaries for execution without any additional uh, execution level or virtualization. Uh, uh, yes, uh, from our one point of view, it's a great benefit, but for another, uh, you have to think. Uh, of course, FireMonkey is a framework, for a cross platform framework, which takes your object Pascal code and your UI forms and transforms them to this native. Uh, to implementation for the native platform. But of course, it's impossible to cover all functionality for all these platforms. This is why sometimes you have to think uh, how to implement some native uh, features which are not implemented in FireMonkey. And also you have to think about platform interaction sometimes. And inside your application, you should have, for example, uh, conditional compiling directives where you will specify that this uh, piece of code will work for ios uh, this way this way for android will be will work this way uh, if it's it's this functionality covered by the firemonkey uh, framework existing uh, features you won't think about it uh, but you see it also has its own pros and cons and you have to think is it uh, suitable for you or not okay, now let's check how xamarin works it's also class platform platform uh, uh, framework when we are developing our uh, application, for example, using uh, C Sharp, uh, using Individual Studio or uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, we have our application, a single code base, which we are compiling to our intermediate uh, binary. 
which then we deploy to the platforms, uh, to each platforms, uh, uh, Android and iOS using Mono. Mono, it's like one or uh, let's let's say it's a cross-platform uh, open source uh, framework like execution environment list of libraries similar as .NET framework but Mono it's just for cross-platform and it was by the way started also a lot of years ago in parallel with .NET framework uh, but they of course uh, Microsoft bought Mono and no, it is what it is and we have a Mono which executes uh, on each uh, platform like Linux uh, kernel for Android and the Unix like kernel for iOS interesting addition about the Xamarin you have three options how to uh, write your UI if you are writing for example uh, it has three uh, sub frameworks like Xamarin Android, Xamarin.Android, Xamarin.iOS and Xamarin.Forms uh, You can write really native uh, UI for Android and iOS using uh, Xamarin Android and Xamarin Android, uh, iOS If you want to have real, truly uh, cross-platform one single code base uh, UI you have to select Xamarin Forms You see that for uh, Xamarin applications also we have uh, we need virtualization and abstraction level uh, as like Mona is a virtual machine which just take your intermediate code and compiles it and transforms it to platform uh, and operating system in native code this is how it works also here I have prepared a comparison table where you can find which platforms each uh, you can uh, which platforms uh, you can uh, our application can support which platforms if you will uh, select one of the uh, mentioned before uh, frameworks uh, of course some of them only for android and ios some of them as far monkey for for everything let's check here well uh, finally that's a real question what to select for developing your application hmm. i cannot give you here 100 percent uh, advices but let's say, uh, like a re recommendations, if you already know one of some of the languages, programming languages like C Sharp, Object, Pascal, Java, you can select one of these uh, frameworks mentioned before. I don't uh, think that you have to start everything from scratch just before, because of some modern trends uh, or market popularity or some informational noise also it's also just my opinion if you are talking about enterprise desktop applications yes we have to think in terms of 5 10 15 years but if you're talking about mobile devices i think and just mobile application i think that we can just try different frameworks because uh, uh, this sphere is developing so fast that i think uh, Something which you will take right now won't be actual maybe in five years from now. Let's check how Microsoft and Google just develop their new frameworks and after two, three, five years just kill them. Uh, let's check like a Windows Unified Platform. Uh, check uh, that we have all Objective-C and we have a suite. We have a Kotlin and Java for, and, uh, for Android everything is changing uh, you have to of course check all these pros and cons performance is matter for you or just uh, speed is is matter for you and you have to make your own decision that's why i could luck with you with your future cross-platform developments and now as i promised i'll share with you promo code for delphi code camp you can use this promo code register and save 15 percent from the price great news this is what i wanted to say i hope it was useful for you thank you for watching see you on the next uh, our it series bye bye